What's with the big bird? Oh, is it for you, Mary Poppins, winning the race? Oh, well, I... Gaining fame and fortune? Uh, yes. Having your picture taken to the newspaper? Uh, actually, I'm delighted. Besides having your extreme good luck, if I may say so. Oh, well, I wouldn't be. They probably have words to describe your emotion. Now, 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 gentlemen, please. On the contrary, there's a very good word. Am I right, Bert? Tell them what it is. Right. It's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Of course, I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad. My father gave me out a tweet, told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word that say we ain't a nose. The biggest word you ever heard. We travel all around the world and everywhere he went. He used his word and all would say there goes a clever jet. When you and Martha Rogers pass the time of day with me, I say we spend a while and we all smile to see. You know, you can say it backwards, which is Docious Alley, Expiastic, Fragic Alley, Rufus, but that's going a bit too far, didn't you think? So when the cat has got your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Yeah, well, just coming up this word, and then you've got a lot to say. But better use it carefully, or it could change your life. For example, uh, yes. One night I said it to my girl, and now my girl's my wife. Wow, and a lovely thing she is too. <laughs> she is too. <laughs>